When you use SharePoint to share KBase articles, they can be read in any web browser. When you have many articles, it is convenient to filter and sort them. And in this demo, I will show you how you can do that with SharePoint list views. I'm Sirat Kalmström at Kalmström.com Business Solutions. Here are my KBase articles. As you see, I have only a few example articles, but they are enough to show the principle behind SharePoint list views. To create a new view, I will open the list tab and go to create view. For KBase articles, the standard view is the most suitable. I must give the view a name and as I want to show only one category in this view, I will choose the name of that particular category. Here, under filtering, I will define that items should be shown only when the column category is equal to folder help desk. I will sort the articles by ID so that the latest articles come first and I will make sure the ID is displayed so that we can check that it works. Now, when I click OK and select the new view, only the folder help desk articles are displayed and they are sorted so that the latest articles come first. I can do the same with two categories. For example, folder help desk and calendar browser. Now, I will set the filter to show items only when the column category is equal to folder help desk or when the column category is equal to calendar browser. In this case, I will sort the articles alphabetically according to the title. You can of course do the same with the types or any other parameter. Maybe you want to show all articles by one creator or show only articles created before or after a certain date. Another option is to show only one type of one category. Here I will show the folder help desk usage articles. Then I must select to show items only when the category is equal to folder help desk and the type is equal to usage. Here they are now. Articles about folder help desk usage. When you have only a few articles in view, it is convenient to show the body of the article without having to open it. I will modify this view and check the box for description, which is the field that contains the article body. Now you can see that the description field is displayed and I can read the articles directly. You can do a lot with SharePoint views, so I hope this demo has been an inspiration. Thank you for watching.